Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Aqualung i300C dive computer. So this is a smart kind of entry level dive computer, but to be honest, it will work for quite advanced divers as well. It's sensible size, decent size screen. It's an LCD segment display screen, so it's gonna have a really long battery life, um, but it's got a lot of clever stuff on the inside, including Bluetooth, so you can download your dives to your phone or your tablet, quickly and easily updating your logbook. Definitely worth checking out. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives uh, in a small cardboard box. Uh, you've got the barcode on the uh, on the back with the serial number. Keep a, uh, a tab on that. Uh, on the inside of the box, you get the dive computer itself. Very nice. Um, Bluetooth connectivity, four operating modes, user changeable battery and data retention, backlighting as well. Uh, doesn't sound like there's anything inside of that, but we will check. Underneath it, you get little information about Diverlog Plus. Uh, so that's the app that you're gonna download onto your phone and then you can Bluetooth it uh, and sort of download your dives and stuff. You get this fun little key. So this is for changing the battery. You can do it yourself. Um, so keep hold of that, keep that safe. Uh, and a quick review card, just how to. You also get a CD-ROM, instrumentation manuals and resources. Uh, there'll be a digital version that you can download from their website as well. It will probably be a bit more up to date um, just in case there've been any changes. Dive computer itself. And then you get this uh, little sort of display. There is more inside of this. This will be the warranty information, I imagine. Safety and reference manual. So have a quick route of that. Very important to uh, make sure that you understand what your dive computer is trying to tell you. Uh, and then if I can get it out of this, you have your dive computer itself. So uh, it, it comes with a sort of protective shield on it and you get this little um, sort of label that you just peel off. Uh, but yeah, let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the dive computer itself. Uh, so yeah, decent size and you have a sensible size screen. This is a very traditional um, sort of wrist mounted dive computer. Two button user interface, you've got advance and then select. Uh, you do have a little red light in the back and you might be able to make out just next to that sort of red section is the Bluetooth logo. It comes with a screen protector, that kind of scratch protector uh, that you can remove and replace. If this gets scratched, then of course you can uh, sort of replace it. And then the overall body, so this is made out of plastic, so it's pretty lightweight, but it's it's quite a nice plastic. It's It's got that matte finish to it. It's shaped so it's really made to uh, sort of go on your wrist. It's not flat surfaces, so it's not going to be weird and unusual. It's got a nice style to it. I quite like it, especially in the uh, in the blue, that kind of raw blue coloring. The embossed Aqualung logo as well is quite smart. And the strap itself is quite thick and chunky, so it feels really strong. Plenty of adjustment, decent size strap on it as well. So if you have a thick wetsuit or you're wearing it over your dry suit, you have plenty of adjustability metal buckle on it so it's nice and strong and you do have that wave pattern to allow for a little bit of compression use a changeable battery as well so you can just undo that and then swap that battery out i imagine it's a 2032 or something it'll be in the uh, in the user manual and then here you have the other uh, data port if you do get the optional usb cable plug it into that um, but if you've got bluetooth on your phone then yeah, you can just download it digitally Press the button and we'll see all the segments start to wake up, making sure that you can check that everything's working correctly. Beeps at you, little red light, and then it goes into the uh, sort of the surface mode. So cycling through, um, first button you press advance, it shows you your last dive. So if you're logging your dives, that's really easy. Uh, and just sort of information, basically. The plan mode, log, and then set gas. So if you're diving on nitrox and you need to change it, press select. At the moment, it's just set to air. I'm just gonna advance to change it to enriched air nitrox. <clears throat> and then right now it's just set to 21%. But if you advance through that, you can change it to whatever you want all the way up to 100%. I'm just gonna set it to 32 and it gives you your maximum depth. At the moment, it's set to uh, imperial. But of course, you can change that. You can also change the salinity of the water if you're diving in fresh water or salt water. It was a slight difference, so it does adjust it. Uh, and then just press select. You can change your, uh, your maximum PPO2 whether you're diving with multiple gases as well. 
and that's it basically. You can continue on. You can also um, sort of change the different modes. So this has dive, which is your scuba, it's either air or nitrox. You then have gauge mode where it just acts as a depth and time, but it's not recording your, uh, your nitrogen loading or anything. And then we have free dive, which is the snorkeling mode. So it usually dials up how quickly or how often it records your depth. And um, it's not going to tell you off for, for ascending too quickly. Um, so yeah, and then just sort of put it back in. So it's very quick and easy just to navigate around. Now you can see it's changed from air to 32. So you know what you're diving on. You've got your surface interval there at the top. So very quick and easy to navigate, even with two buttons. It's not a, a complicated two button system where you have to hold something down to go backwards or sort of hold it to go forwards. If you want to go quickly through the numbers when you're changing your nitrox, if you hold down the advanced, rushes through it so you don't have to select it, go all the way up to 100 to get back to 21. Now I've just paired up the dive computer onto my phone just to show you a quick look around the app. So quick and easy to uh, to pair it, you just turn the Bluetooth on on both devices. There is a pairing code, it's just a four digit pin number. And then you can change all the settings on your phone. So it's much easier than having to sort of go around and navigate because it's very natural kind of drop down you can select everything. If you want to change the gas, if you're diving on a different nitrox mix, then you literally just change it to whatever you're diving with. Uh, if I'm going back to air, set, and then sync it, and that's it, it's done. It's it's very quick and intuitive and very modern the way uh, sort of a lot of divers are used to it. Uh, if you can do it on your phone, then yeah, it's perfectly fine. So. Is a very quick and easy way to navigate and you can also update the firmware. There are going to be several updates from time to time to change some things, make your dive computer better and that's all done through the app. So because it's got that Bluetooth built in and that C is there for connectivity, that's the real benefit for getting the i300C. And that's the Aqualung i300C dive computer, a good all-rounder if you're using it for snorkeling as well as scuba diving, just diving it on nitrox. It is very simple, very easy to use, decent sized screen so you can still see what's going on. It's got plenty of information to display on the screen. So if you're just after a simple dive computer, nothing overly fancy, you're not interested in air integration, all that kind of stuff, then yeah, this is definitely worth considering. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below so you can buy it. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Music